Every single Toyota truck has this bolt. It goes into the spindle and it holds the brake line firmly in place. It is vitally important that you reinstall this bolt. For the simple reason, the brake line needs to be held in place and you also cannot remove the flare nuts unless this bolt is secure. So I was doing a brake line job on this car and someone had glued the head of the bolt into here, probably because the bolt was frozen. So tool number one is a center punch. So this will kind of knock things free, kind of like a slide hammer, and you're gonna have to probably drill this. After a close inspection of the broken bolt, there is a little bit of a nub on the back side of the spindle. So I'm gonna take a set of vice grips and a torch. So using a torch on this area of the car is extremely dangerous because of the high pressure oil inside of the shock. So I'm putting a two x four right here to hopefully not grenade the shock. After dozens of attempts of torching, grabbing a vice grip on the back of the spindle, torching, vice grips, torching, vice grips, it's time to turn into the last resort. We gotta drill through that entire bolt. This is a screw extractor set from Snap-on. The main thing is it has a left-handed drill bit. So we wanna start off with the tiniest drill bit in the set to kind of drill a pilot hole through this bolt to make sure it's perfectly straight. So make sure you add a center punch and it's nice and set straight. I like to put the drill bit as far into the drill as I can because if this breaks off, you're gonna have a whole bunch of more problems. After a nice pilot hole is drilled in there with some depth, you could try this step. So this is a screw extractor and I'm not a huge fan of these because 90% of the time they don't work. If the screw extractor breaks off inside of the spindle, you are absolutely screwed because it is made out of hardened steel. So I gave it a little bit of extra love with the torch, a couple extra center punches, and the only thing that is spinning is not the bolt. So this is not gonna work. We're gonna have to drill all the way through the spindle. I use about 10 different drill bits drilling through the spindle. And unfortunately I over drilled the hole so I can't put the correct bolt back inside of the spindle which is an eight by one two five. You cannot over drill it to 10 by one two five because it needs to go through the brake hose mount unless you wanna drill the brake hose mount as well. So I did a whole bunch of practicing here cause I'm not very familiar with drilling holes and tapping them to the correct size. So you do need a specialty drill bit to get the perfect eight by one, two, five thread. And here it is on Amazon. I wish I would have bought this link in the description because I basically over drilled this hole. I just got a six by 1.0 bolt, put it through the spindle and then attached the nut on the back. So this is not a very good repair because that hole is drilled in an upward angle and the nut isn't contacting the spindle perfectly good. So I just did a whole bunch of turning with the steering wheel and nothing looked like it's contacting and it is pretty tight for now. Moving over to the passenger side with some more experience. So let's undo that 12 millimeter bolt and yes, it did break. So we're gonna have to do the same kind of repair on this side, but there was quite a bit of a learning curve already established on the driver's side. Skipping the torch and the vice grip going straight into the drill, but hold up. Let's get something to catch all those metal shavings that are going to fall down into the CB boot that took me like 20 minutes to clean on the other side. It is hard to see it on the car, but the bolt is actually angled up and then you run the risk of breaking the drill bit by drilling at an offset angle. Usually you want the drill at a perfectly right angle. I spent like one to two hours on the driver's side, so I'm trying to make this one fast. We're gonna drill a pilot hole straight through that bolt. And then at this point, we're gonna get the self tapping screws and blast this in. Hole. That'll be. Now this is my personal car, maybe not do that on somebody else's car, but the brake line was extremely tight and I was able to tighten up all the flare nuts after replacing the brake lines. Depending on what part you're replacing, that video is on your screen now because this truck got an entire overhaul.